<laughs> Red Robin, all y'all. I'm just to go my ears back to bed. I'm sleepy. I am so fucking sleepy. Whew. I'm so sleepy. I barely made it home. I went to go get me some breakfast. Baby, when I got home and pulled up in that parking lot, my body shut the fuck down. It must have been some dramatic shit because this man rolled up next to me and was blowing his horn like, are you okay? Are you okay? So my body must need to go back and lay down. So y'all know yesterday I got up there and I danced for an hour. So my goal I set for myself is to move around for an hour every day. Now, I don't know if I'm with the shits. Or what? I'm already trying to knock that down. Cause, baby, my hams hurt. But after I did the um, dancing yesterday, my husband come home from work. He wanna go for a walk. So my legs is done, done. Okay. So that might be why I'm so sleepy. I'm gonna give my body what he want, and it's this rest. Um, but yeah, so since this topic seems to be hot, I'm going to go ahead and address the shit. <clears throat> I really, I'm going to just unplug it here, fuck it. <sighs> Y'all, I'm downstairs and this is an old house, so. We got to turn the space heat on. Anyway, this is rejected shit. I'm so tired of this shit. And all these hurt behind ass women and these dumb ass women. I just really, I just don't understand why this is such a hot topic. Who the fuck didn't know that this nigga in this tight ass shirt sitting in this car all the time wasn't no fuck boy? Who didn't know that? Who, I didn't even know the man was married. I heard rumors that he's supposed to be some white girl baby daddy. I mean, Freddie he's supposed to be with a white woman. Then he was some, some black baby daddies to some black women, married to a black woman. All kind of rumors and shit. I didn't know whether the nigga was married or not. Okay. It's kind of weird that he would be married and you never fucking see his spouse. You know what I'm saying? Now. Let me not talk too much because people don't see my spouse that much. But that's by his choice. It's not because I'm like, yeah, I'm purposely hiding this nigga. No, he just don't want to be in the camera and shit. Yeah, that's cool. That's his prerogative. That's his business. <clears throat> but this nigga, like, he wasn't never in the house. Then when he finally do get exposed, whatever that means. I guess because Tasha K said it now it's news. <sighs> but um now that he exposed, now his wife wanna come out. Now I don't know if she wanna come out because she and then part of me thinks that this is a publicity stunt because you go over there and look on her page, first and foremost. Um, they say this shit been going on four years. Well, these wedding pictures is back in twenty eighteen. It's 2021, so they've been married barely three, four years now, okay? So, that means this nigga was cheating before then. She knew this nigga was already cheating, okay? Then, you don't see no pictures of him on her Instagram until you get to her having that baby. That's the first time you see this nigga. So, what was he prior to then? So, would you marry her because... You brought a child into the world with her? How long has y'all been dating before then? She had been new this. She already knew this nigga was a hoe. So, then you get into October. And that's when the Jesus Parade begins. At least on her end. Now, Derry Jackson, I ain't never heard this nigga say nothing about the Lord in none of his videos. The few videos I've had the unfortunate pleasure of hearing or viewing because the first couple of times that nigga bubbled up however many years ago it was he bubbled up and i seen this it was like i ain't listen to this shit the nigga look like a hoe
Hold on, I gotta take this out. This is getting on my nerves. He look like a hoe. What the hell wrong with y'all? Who the fuck is you? I'm gonna come see you in a minute. He look like a hoe. Y'all like hoes. And then, y'all understand duality in the same... Y'all don't understand two sides of the same motherfucking coin or some shit. Because... Like, some people got a problem because they was like, oh, we got one down, we need another one to go. In the other picture, one was Derrick Jackson, the other one was Russell Williams. That nigga, that nigga, okay, so he he can't be a hoe, okay? He's too lame to be a hoe. He's just a whack-ass motherfucker. Hmm. He whack. And because he whack, he will pander to your every realm because he's a whack-ass nigga. <clears throat> Whack nigga, pandering to you so he can get whatever it is he needs. Same shit, you know what I'm saying? Same shit, this nigga here, this Derrick Jackson nigga, he just got the aesthetic. Them motherfuckers gonna go crazy over. First of all, how y'all fucking go crazy over a dude who is giving you relationship advice and you don't never see they woman? That shit weird. And I'm not saying they woman got to be on their platform with them. You know what I'm saying? But you won't never see the motherfucker. And then, like, when he was talking, giving his advice, no, nothing never personal. You know what I'm saying? No personal experiences, never. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to learn to use some damn discernment when it comes to these niggas and stop sitting up here uh, acting like you always a victim all the time. It's like Starfire Alchemist said this morning. When she talked about this topic, leave the dramatic dick alone. But some of y'all so fucking dramatic, you goddamn self, that's all you attracted to is some damn dramatic ass dick talking about, oh, you a victim. And the amount of women that said, see, you can't trust me. They always eventually embarrass you. No, bitch, you embarrass yourself because you won't use the discernment that the good Lord gave you to keep you from ending up in these type of fucking situations. Who didn't know this nigga was a hoe? And then you look at her page, back to what I was saying about her page. You look at her page, around October, you see she done went, she got, she got her little suit on, baby. She got that Bible out, good, good photo, aesthetic, posting all them little scriptures up there. Look like she trying to build her platform. This could be a publicity stunt. This nigga book dropped 10 days ago. You know you messy motherfuckers is finna go over there and buy that book to see what the fuck is put in that book. It's just a spike sales. Because you're not finna tell me she didn't know he was a hoe. She was fat. Now she not fat no more. You think he didn't help her do that? And then people are like, oh, her page looks like somewhere where, where, look like a, when a man done took you down or whatever the fuck. These hoes out here saying, stop saying stupid shit and look at this shit. She ain't no victim. See, he wanted that nigga. That nigga was cheating on her before she said I do. She said I do to the cheating ass nigga. She knew what she signed up for. It's like he knew who he was. And then he up there looking crazy. What happened to your crispy ass haircut, nigga? <laughs> that haircut ain't crispy no more. She said, yeah, I just, when she, she, uh, they did their little interview, the one I did watch. He said, uh, the way he carried himself. I bet. That nigga don't look that crispy coming out of the house no more. Nigga, you ain't gonna sit in the car and do no video. I ain't never seen this nigga in the house. Nigga always been in the car. Now, all of a sudden, he in the house holding her. And that death grip he had on that hand. I don't know if that's the, you better do what I said, bitch. Because he had a couple of moments where the mouth was doing that shit right there. You know? <laughs> And then he had, then it was a couple of moments where he looked like he really sad. So, you know, I don't know. That's their fucking business. That's their marriage, but to the masses at large. Can we please stop talking about this dumb shit? This shit is stupid. We knew this nigga wasn't no good. He ain't no better than none of the other no good niggas, but you motherfuckers love this function and shit. So, y'all go follow the stupid shit. Y'all follow the dumbest ass shit and then, oh, I can't believe. How come you can't believe, you dumb ass? It's right there. The writing is right there on the wall. But because the motherfucker didn't come out their mouth and tell you, then now you shocked. Half the shit people be shocked by, people shouldn't be shocked by at all. Really, because 
the evidence and the theory is right there. Just like the treatment I got from the goddamn withering roots of the goddamn tree. That shit didn't shock me. The writing was already on the goddamn wall. You know, if anything, if you wanted to say anything, you would say, you be the food to go down there. You could say that. And I would gladly eat them desserts. Because that is a perception and a theory. You know what I'm saying? Some shit is just on the wall. This shit is on the wall. This nigga here. But I love the way Stormfire Alchemist said this shit. She said, Lita, just say no to dramatic dick. Yes. Say no to dramatic dick. Say no to dramatic dick. That is if you value your health and your mental your mental health. If you value your mental health, leave that shit alone. That shit is not worth it. Unless you just like the thrill of the adventure. Like, some people like that shit, you know. It makes life entertaining for them. And for those people, you know, hey, go for it. For the rest of y'all, stop being stupid. Stop looking at niggas in tight-ass shirts and thinking that they don't... <laughs> they mean any of that shit they saying to you. Nigga, no. And I'm not saying because he had a tight shirt and he had a nice body that automatically makes him a hoe. No, but, like... People that have no personal experience for none of the shit that they talking about sitting up there talking to you looking a certain way. I mean, come on now. Come on, y'all. Come on. Be brighter than this. Y'all better than this. Y'all got more sense than this. You got more discernment than this. The Lord gave you more gift than that. Gave you some sense. Utilize it. Utilize it. And please stop talking about this. This shit is dumb. That woman ain't hurt. Okay, she might be hurt because she embarrassed because now everybody knows she married a hoe. But she really shouldn't be embarrassed because she knew she married a hoe before she married the hoe. And the hoe was a hoe before she married the hoe. So everybody already knew he was a hoe. So she really shouldn't be embarrassed. But, you know, whatever. Um, You can't be embarrassed about some shit you already knew. Um, And then... The side chick or the side piece, that's why I think this is a publicity something. But then again, bitches be stupid for real. I don't know what the hoe be like. Azalea Banks. What exactly was she hoping to accomplish when she decided to tell the world she uh, tripped and fell on Dave Chappelle dick? What was she expecting to accomplish by doing that? Like, what did you gain, bitch, besides letting everybody know how much more of a disturbed whore you are you know <laughs> um hmm? so i don't understand what the women that came out to talk about him i don't know what their goal was what they was trying to accomplish but like you're trying to stop his platform or what are you doing because i guarantee you this nigga's still gonna sell books he's still gonna have his shit because he still got that aesthetic. It is what it is. You ain't stopping shit. I don't understand why women do shit like this. Well, I, I, oh, it's revenge. That's what it is. And I, I just told y'all about that revenge shit. Very few people set out for revenge and actually get the feeling and desire accomplishment that they want. Very few. <clears throat> Most of the time, people do that shit and it's very empty and fruitless. There's just no point to it. Sometimes you just got to heal yourself and move on. Sometimes you got to remember everybody plays the fool. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to accept that you played the fool and move it the fuck along. Take the fool's journey. Take the motherfucking fool's journey. Go on, go on through your process so you can go to the other side and elevate, learn your lessons, and, and get you something different the next time. Because all that sitting there doing that revenge shit, all you doing is adding more pain to an already painful situation and including more people in it. You know, exposing more people in it. It is really, what the hell? Oh, yeah, about this, y'all. So the doctor said it is from the steroid. So she says put topical things on it. <laughs> anyway, so, um,. Yeah, imagine all these people that's hurt. Like, 
People that really, honestly, gullibly believe that this dude was some kind of fucking guru or whatever the fuck. Now all these people is hurt. Like, all these people hurt and for what? Just because somebody couldn't keep their fucking legs closed or keep their mouth closed? This, this shit is stupid. So, hopefully now that I have addressed this shit, I can stop seeing it. Because I, I really think this is stupid. And I don't want to see this shit no more because... Uh, I don't know. For me, I he just wasn't nobody I wasn't finna fucking listen to. He wasn't nobody I wasn't finna put no damn stock in this dude. He looked like fuckboy material. Shit. Now, people might get mad because I said Russell William fits, Wilson fits in the same category. He might not be right here cheating like that so, but if he had the capability of doing it, if it was enough bitches throwing some pussy at his ass, some pussy that he wanted. He'll probably take that shit too. That motherfucker's just lame. And he can't do it. That's why he be pandering the way he be doing. All that whole ass shit he was doing. It's just detrimental. It's just terrible. And y'all like shit like that. If y'all crazy. Yeah, y'all need to heal so y'all can stop this shit. So we can get some more manly men out here on the plane. Alright? Some men that women actually want. Shit. Nobody want this nigga. Y'all don't want no damn Jerry Jackson. Y'all just want the nigga because he look good. We don't want that nigga for real in real life. We don't got damn Russell Wilson. You just want that nigga because of the bag. To find you somebody you actually want. Not just because they look good. Not just because they bag. But because they have a nice character. Not because they pussy pandering to your ass. I don't want that. That shit get old. Real quick. You be looking for some other shit. And they ain't got it. Because they ain't built like that. Then you just got to settle for whatever. Now nobody got time for that. So hopefully this shit go away. I just wanted to get out of my chest. Plus I wanted to shout out uh, Metaphysical Life Mastery. Because baby, when she said say no to dramatic dick, I fucking hollered. Okay? That shit was funny to me. Anyway, y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading y'all love and light. I'm going to catch me a nap because I'm sleeping. See y'all next video.